So there's a huge resurgence so far as fountain pens are concerned. We live in an overwhelmingly digital age. Now, there's no denying that. But at the same time, there's also no denying the fact that fountain pens are basically a contraption from the past. It's, it was given up for dead and gone, but it's coming back. কলকাতার প্রেম প্রেমী মানুষদের কাছে এক বিশেষ আকর্ষণ মহারাষ্ট্র থেকে গুজরাট গুজরাট থেকে পুনে পুনে থেকে দিল্লি দিল্লি থেকে চেন্নাই প্রচুর জায়গা বিভিন্ন ধরনের পেন এই পেন মহোৎসবে এসেছে সাড়ে সাত লাখ টাকার ওপরের দামে পেন রয়েছে যা একটা প্রকার পুষ্কর আমাদের পক্ষে এই প্রথম দেখা ছুঁয়ে দেখতে পারেন তাই অনুরোধ করব আরো একবার এই মহোৎসবে আপনাদের সকলকে স্বাগত on the other side on the other end of the spectrum you have the dot pens which where this ink is uh, water based there the ink is oil based and that ink flows from the tip of the name of a dot pen where you have a ball a roller ball that's why sometimes they also call it the roller ball pens now because of that an inordinate amount of pressure is required to be put for the ink to come onto paper so when you are doing that your fingers suffer from finger fatigue if you write for a long period of time and your hands ends up having arthritis okay it started in 1930s early 1930s official date is 1934 Started in Rajshahi as a part of uh, Gandhi's Swaraj movement, the uh, Swadeshi movement. Uh, Gandhi wanted people to have their own ink, Indian people by which they can write, and Gandhi wanted it specially because he was writing a lot of things to the Britishers, and he was using foreign inks. So he wanted. He said that I am using a foreign ink, and I am petitioning for independence of India. Why can't we have an Indian ink? So at that time, many companies came and developed the ink, tried to develop the ink, but somehow the quality of Sulekha, the what we achieved in that period, in a very, very small period of time, was much much superior, and was comparable comparable to the inks that were coming from uh, the Europe, and uh, slowly it became the ink of the nation. Around the factory, you see a, a solar panels all around the factory. and uh, believe it or not our electricity bill is uh, zero i mean it's 100 or 200 rupees per year i'm not talking about per month or per day it's per year as such a big factory is running so what exactly is happening that we are using the entire energy that we are producing whether we are producing more energy than we are using and uh, so you can say it's in a sense a net zero company পেনের দোকান আছে পেন হসপিটাল আমরা পেন রিপেয়ার করছি পেন সেল করছি অ্যান্টিক ভিন্টেজ নিউ মডেল সবই আছে সবাই কালি পেনের জন্য আসছে বেশিরভাগে কিছু লোক বল পেনও আছে রোলার পেনও আছে বেশিরভাগে আমাদের কাছে কালি পেনের কাস্টমার বেশি আছে সে সব বয়সের লোক আছে আমাদের পঁচাত্তর বছর হয়ে গেছে এই পেনটা এই তো রিসেন্টলি পাঁচ বছরের মধ্যে ইয়াং স্টার তো অনেক হয়েছে কম বয়সে ইয়াংয়ে তারা তো অনেক পেন হ্যাঁ আবার কিছু ছোট ছোট বাচ্চাতেও মা বাবা নিয়ে আসছে পেন কেনার জন্য কিনছে उंटेन because i was in hyderabad for a uh, little over 3 years and during my stay i have found 
the revival of fountain pens in South India as well. Writing work has become less compared with the past. So now many people buy pens for luxury. Because it is a status symbol. Keeping a pen in pocket, we are used to keeping it for necessity. But for the common people, it is not a necessity at all. It's a style statement. It's a luxury. So basically, my name is Shwagato Mukherjee and um, usually the kind of art that I do uh, is, is way more politically inclined than politically tinged. So that's, I mean, if I am doing something, then that has to be extremely, you know, uh, that has to be, that has to have a political motto and for the people, it's not for arts for arts. Eh? So now talking about fountain pens and inks, see, I like working with ink because uh, primarily it's very Hindi. That's that's uh, the first thing. Being an artist, being an indie artist, that's the first for first catch, you know. So from there it starts. And now while I'm working with ink, then I could go for options such as ballpoint pen or other pens. But working with fountain pens uh, is like close to my heart because it also is very essentially connected with other forms of art that is typography and calligraphy. So that has a huge aspect. Uh, in directly linked with fountain pen. So that's kind of, you know, being an illustrator, being a caricature artist, that's very important. Yeah. <laughs>